Okay. Reputation precedes you, Hunter. I trust you know what I've called you here to discuss. Yes, sir. The Forbidden Lands? Indeed. But more precisely, about the boy we rescued in the vicinity. Entry to the region itself has been restricted for a thousand years. We thought it completely uninhabited. Any remnants of its ancient civilization rest solely in historical record. Now imagine our surprise to have discovered this boy. He claimed to be part of a clan, the Keepers. He said they have a village in a land we thought uninhabited for ages. A few years have passed, but the Academy, of course, has remained skeptical. This village, is there evidence it exists? Nothing absolute, but the mysterious composition of the boy's pendant suggests it might. And... As for how we came to rescue the boy... Sir? It seems a certain monster had forced him to flee. It attacked his village, and he escaped alone. Unfortunately, the underground tunnel he used to make his escape collapsed. We found him, took him in, and here we are. Do we know the status of the village? Unknown. And of the monster? Unknown. However, the scholars you know. hypothesize that it may be a monster which we thought to have perished long ago. An extinct species. They're calling it the White Wraith. The guild has authorized the rescue of the Keepers and an investigation into this monster. I've selected you as a lead hunter for this expedition. Thank you, sir. Finding the village won't be easy. You'll need the proper guide. Speaking of which, I have an extra assignment for you. Hello, my name is Alma. Are you the extra assignment? Come on, it's okay. And you? As soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. You bet. I hope we find them soon. Actually, 
agitated. Could they be chasing something? It's a person! It's really good. Reminds me a lot of Monster Hunter World, like with the okay art style and everything. Sword? Hey! Hey, it's it's okay. You're safe now. You killed all my friends. Yeah. So much for this region being uninhabited. Must be a type of flight as well. Is I he's still in trouble. Is I we were doing sacred practice. But then it came. And my brother, he What 
came. One of the things that was chasing you earlier? <laughs> it's okay. And your brother, where is he? <laughs> he told me to run. <laughs> and he stayed. Sounds like trouble, yeah? Can you tell us where he is? <laughs> the sacred. He knows he's I sent. Let's find him. I'm with you. Everyone else, focus on scouting for a campsite. Mm. Understood. Just send a signal if you need backup. <laughs> we'll leave some supplies for you. I'll keep an eye on these two. Mm -hmm. We're moving out. Coming. Please, take these people to safe side. We're counting on you. Come with me, okay? Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Be careful out there! We will! You should prepare a bit, just in case. Yeah. Really good. Slow, heavy movements, but each strike packs a punch. This is what I used when I played, um, but I'm not sure. I might try a new weapon because I heard they didn't change anything with this one. So I'm like between either using the dual blades or the insect blade. So I'm going to try the dual blades now. <laughs> a fun weapon i just don't know it very well um so i think i'm gonna try have you chosen your weapon the dual blades out because i want to try something different um great sword i loved like it's seriously my favorite weapon because of every like souls game that's all i've used um but i don't think they changed any of the moves or anything to make it better it's just kind of the same it was in Monster Hunter World. So I feel like that would be boring to just play the same thing. But if I don't enjoy like the dual blades or like one of these, like if I try like the charge blade out or um, switch axe or long sword or something, I don't think I'll just go back to the great sword. So we're gonna try the dual blades. See how this is. Have you chosen your up to mount? You move automatically towards your objective. Is left stick to auto move to steer your range. Return to auto by hitting up. Okay, so let's get close. So, like, it'll automatically. So, this will speed up. That's kind of cool. So, I don't have to, like, be focusing. I can just let it move. 
It's really good. Over here. Safe now. There. This reminds me of legendary and um Pokemon. Thank the wind. It flies and runs. Um right on. Allow us to introduce ourselves. Wait, We're... wait. Hold on. Did you really do that? There's no way you should have been able to. So, how? We came because your sister said you were in trouble. Huh? Nona! Where is she? She's safe. Don't worry. And they'll take you to her, all right? Trust you, people. Hey, you made it. <laughs> what a fascinating creature. <laughs> Any trouble finding us? None at all, thanks to your flair. Oh. Please, this way. Uh, okay. Welcome back. Hey, Hunter. Back already? Good work. Hey, your sister's just over there. She's been worried, Sec. Hurry. This is a pretty well protected spot. We could do a lot worse for an interim camp. This way. Just a quick check. I'm telling you, we just need some space. She's fine, but she needs after Which we're perfectly capable of. <laughs> Nona! <gasps> He's fine! You're okay! I need to, like, show us out. Pick the winds. You see? She's fine. Now, Scram, go. Back to your station. Ah! I didn't properly thank you before. Everything just happened so fast. No, I, I, I didn't know what to say. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I'm Isai. My sister and I are from a nearby village. My name is Nona. It's wonderful to meet you. I'm Alma. The others and I are here on a search. We're from a place far out west. How'd you end up in that situation back there? Oh, it was all my fault. I was careless. I was helping Nona with riding practice, and the Chatacabra snuck up on us. I told Nona to run for it while I got its attention, but when my sacred and I tried to get away, he slipped, and we fell into that cave. And so, uh, who exactly are the two of you? Oh, right. We must have really surprised you earlier. Forgive me for my lack of understanding, but do you use those tools? I... I've never seen anything like that before. Back where we're from, specialists use these tools to protect others from large creatures. With the understanding that they're never to be brandished at other people, of course. Only those with special permission are allowed to use them. Uh, tools? Specialists? Permission? It's all new to me. But I'm just glad you were there. Where's this village you say you're from? It's just a short distance away by Sacred. Nona and I live there with our grandmother. Which 
Would you happen to know of a tribe called the Keepers? The Keepers? No, I don't. Sorry. I see. Well, that's okay. We're actually helping our friend here find his home. His people. They're called the Keepers. The Keepers, huh? Hmm. Sorry. I don't remember ever hearing that name before. But our elder... She might know something. Thanks for letting us borrow your sacred earlier. They were a tremendous help. Did you train them in your village? Yes. We raised them from eggs and trained them ourselves. They're invaluable to us as companions. They're so intelligent. They really came through for us back there. I know, right? They're great at sensing and avoiding trouble. And at remembering sense. But they're pretty tricky to handle. So not everyone's cut out for riding them. Take this guy, for example. He won't let just anyone ride him. He's almost too smart for his own good. So, when I saw him take to you so easily, I was really impressed. You must have a gift. That won't do to keep you talking. Let's take a look at those wounds. So that's it of the uh, beta test. That's honestly, it feels a lot like Monster Hunter World, but I'm excited for it because I enjoyed Monster Hunter World a ton. Um, and just being able to play more, even if there's a lot of things different, I'm excited for it. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing this a lot. So. That was fun. Hey there, Hunter. We've confirmed sightings of Doshagama, fierce monsters with a nasty temperament here in the plains. As it's likely they're traveling in a pack, we've been authorized to deal with the threat before it gets out of control. I can do more. I've marked the target on your map. For now, let's make for that location. Take these two while you're at it. I'm sure you'll find them useful. The delays in between talking is kind of weird. Have you selected oh, your I guess weapons? I can still play. If not, you can do so in the tent over there. Equip both a primary and secondary weapon. Use this to your advantage depending on the situation. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Um, so I think my secondary might just be the great sword, but what can I have? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that as my secondary. I'll have the daggers as my primary, and then the big sword for when I need to do, like, big damage. That alpha is our target. The quest will begin once you've dealt enough damage to it. Got it.
that bomb. Bomb set. Bomb set. I think I'm gonna stop there. Um, I think you can just keep playing and like hunting these random things and doing stuff. But yeah, this one's really cool. Like, look at all of those. That's nuts. Huh. Yeah, I'm really liking this though. I really enjoyed um, Monster Hunter World. So being able to do more of this in new areas. That's really fun. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed.